Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Andrew and welcome back to Sports But Casually. And welcome everybody. This is the penultimate episode of my weekly NBA updates and news series. This week I'm talking about week 20 in the NBA, which took place from May the 2nd to May the 8th. And it was a very eventful week. A lot, a lot of big news, which of course we'll get into just one moment. But as always, make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Sportsbook Casually. And make sure to leave a like on the video, share with a friend, family, or anybody actually, I'll be fine with that. And subscribe to the channel so you'll never miss a new video when I drop it. And with all of that out the way, let's get into week 20's big headlines. Kicking things off. Pistons rookie Sadiq Bey broke the NBA's rookie record for most games with five or more made threes with 10. The previous record was held by both Steph Curry and Allen Iverson with nine. So congrats to Sadiq. The GOAT LeBron James passed Buck Williams for 19th place on the NBA's all-time games played list. So congrats to him. The great Kyle Lowry and the equally great Pascal Siakam became the first duo in Raptors franchise history to both have 35-point double-doubles in the same game. They're just amazing, what can I say? With his 14 points, 21 rebound, a career high, and 24 assists, also a career high, triple-double, Russell Westbrook set the NBA record for most 20 assist triple-doubles with 5 as he passes both Magic Johnson and Rajon Rondo. With his amazing triple-double, Russell Westbrook becomes the only player in NBA history to have multiple 20 rebound and 20 assist games. With a victory over the Indiana Pacers, the Washington Wizards sets a new franchise record for assists made in a game with 50. With a win over the Memphis Grizzlies, the New York Knicks have secured their first winning record since the 2012-2013 season. You know who they're led by? Knicks legend! Julius Randle. Carmelo Anthony passed Elvin Haynes for 10th all-time in the NBA's scoring list. Congrats, Melo. After his stellar performance throughout the entire month of April, Knicks legend! Julius Randle becomes the first New York Knick to win Eastern Conference Player of the Month since Carmelo Anthony did it in January 2014. What can I say? He's just that good. Tim Hardaway Jr. tied Wesley Matthew and George McLeod for the Mavs franchise record for three-pointers made in a game with 10. This was also a career high for THJ. So, congrats! And a loss to the Memphis Grizzlies, Timberwolves rookie Anthony Edwards had himself a spectacular performance. A career high tying 42 points, 8 3 pointers made, which is also a career high, shooting 17 for 22 from the field. He broke and tied a lot of records. Let's get into them. He becomes the first rookie to score 40 or more points on 8 or more threes while shooting 75% from the field or better. He's the second rookie ever to score 40 or more points while making zero free throws, which is pretty insane. He becomes the youngest player in NBA history to drop 40 points on five or made threes. And finally, he's the only rookie in Timberwolves history to have 30 points, five rebounds and five assists in a game. In a victory over the Houston Rockets, Joel Embiid recorded 30 points and 10 rebounds in about 25 minutes. He's the first player in the 76ers franchise history to ever do so. Bradley Beal passed No Chill Gil, Gilbert Arenas, for the most 40-point games in Washington Wizards franchise history with 29. And, you guessed it, he lost that game too. In a victory over the Atlanta Hawks, Karis LeVert recorded his first 30 points and 10 assist game of his career with 31 points and 12 assists. Russell Westbrook became the first player in NBA history to record 50 rebounds and 50 assists in a three game span. Which, wow, that's, that's a lot. You know, yeah. In an overtime loss to the Washington Wizards, Spicy P 
Pascal Siakam becomes the third player in Raptors franchise history to have a 40 points, 10 rebound, and 5 assist game. The grand spicy P man. He was really balling this week. I'm really good, proud of him. You know what? Good shit. But fate for Kate is still on. After scoring a career high 48 points on 8 3 pointers made, Boyan Bogdanovich becomes the first player in Utah Jazz history to have 45 or more points on 8 or more 3 pointers made. This is the most points in a regular season game by a Jazz player since Carl Malone's 56 in 1998. Oh, and he tied a franchise record for 3 pointers made in a game as well. Not a bad week for Boyan. Dallas Mavericks coach Rick Carlisle passed Cotton Fitzwilliams for 15th place on the NBA's all-time coaching wins list. Congrats. Speaking of the Dallas Mavericks, after dropping 24 points in a victory over the Cavaliers, Luka Doncic becomes the fourth youngest player to score 5,000 career points. Luka Magic baby, what can I say? Congrats, man. In a victory over the Indiana Pacers, Russell Westbrook recorded his 181st career triple-double, tying the big O Oscar Robinson for most in NBA history. His 33 points, 19 rebounds, and 15 assists makes him the 8th player in NBA history to have a 30-15-15 and 15 game. And finally, Dwight Howard passed Kevin Garnett for 10th place on the NBA's all-time double-doubles list. Congrats, Superman! And now it's time for my one interesting thing that happened in week 20. And that comes on May the 5th, where there was a total of 8 teams that scored 130 or more points, which is the most on any date in NBA history. And in case you're asking, those teams were the Celtics, the Hawks, the Bucks, the 76ers, the Grizzlies, the Timberwolves, Trailblazers and uh, 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 a motherfucking uh, oh, uh, damn, hell, oh, uh, uh, fuck it. The Washington Wizards, how, how can I forget that? And now it's time to move into my players of the week, starting as always with the Eastern Conference. And in the Eastern Conference this week, there was a lot of competition. I was thinking about between at least six different players, but. You know, at the end, I had to give it to the player who's been all over this video, actually. Russell Westbrook of the Washington Wizards. In the four games he played this week, he averaged just above 22 points, just a little above 18 assists and 17 rebounds a game, getting a steal and a half a game as well, plus one block a game, shooting 45% from the field and just about 27% from three on about four attempts per game. And now it's time to move into my Western Conference Player of the Week. And this was a little tight of a race between three players, um, Curry, Bogdanovich, and Lillard. But, you know, I'm gonna have to give it to Chef Curry of the Golden State Warriors. In the four games he played this week, he averaged just above 40 points, almost five assists, and five and a half rebounds a game, getting a steal and a half a game as well, while shooting 50% from the field, and just below 46% from three on an, a staggering 18 a game. And now we move on to my Rookies of the Week, starting as always with the Eastern Conference Rookie of the Week. You know, this week there was decent competition, but I decided to give it to our first timer, RJ Hampton of the Orlando Magic. In the three games he played this week, he averaged almost 17 points six assists and just above seven rebounds a game shooting 45 percent from the field and just below 29 percent from three on two attempts per game and fun fact is in his three games this week he also had two double double performances not bad and now we move on to my western conference rookie of the week and yeah this one was really easy i'm going with anthony edwards of the minnesota timberwolves in the two games he played this week, he averaged 33.5 points, 5 assists and 6 rebounds a game, also getting a block a game as well, shooting 66% from the field and almost 56% from 3 on 9 attempts per game. And now we come to the final segment of the video, 
as always, it's my conference standings. And you guys already know what this is about. We take a look at the standings from week 19 and compare it to the standings for week 20 and see how teams move up, down, or do they just stay the same? And which new team has qualified for the playoffs? Because it is that time. Well, that wraps us up guys. That was week 20 in the NBA in a nutshell. I hope this video was informative, but also very entertaining. I must say one thing, the play-in game, I know a lot of people are talking shit about it, especially the players, but from a fan's perspective, I really love the play-in game. It makes the season more interesting because, you know, with two weeks left in the NBA season, nobody's, nobody cares about that. Like maybe one or two games, but now, they're watching every single game because you know teams could have there's a chance maybe not a good chance but there's a chance to make the play in game and make the playoffs and that and that's all you can ask for really just the chance but anyway guys i will see you all next week for the final video week 21 oh my god i don't think i'm ready for that i might get emotional who knows <laughs> but yeah um follow me tiktok Instagram, uh, like the video, subscribe, share. Uh, you guys already know the drill by now. Put it in a different type of cup to keep it hotter while I record. <sighs> yep, still warm. Later.